Free Gaza people from Gaza. The post-October 7th reality is irreversible. Israeli citizens are opposed to the reconstruction of Gaza to its prior state and will not depend on the international community's assurance for our safety. We're still waiting for the international community to enforce UN Security Council Resolution 1701 to keep Hezbollah away from our northern border. So what do we do with the Gazan refugees? Eight years ago, the international community invested taxpayer money to rebuild Gaza after Operation Protective Edge. And what did they get for this investment? More terror, more hatred, and more destruction. Only fools repeat the same thing over again and expect a different result. So what do we do with the Gazan refugees? How about we try listening to them? Many of them want to leave Gaza and build a future for their family somewhere else. It's already happening. An estimated 300,000 young adults, predominantly scholars, fled Gaza in the last decade. And those are the lucky ones. An official Palestinian public opinion poll from 2015 indicates that over 50% of Gaza Arabs desire to immigrate from the region. We can assume this number is much higher today. They're fleeing not because of Israel, but because their leaders are using them as human shields. Over the past decade, conflicts in this region have compelled millions of Arabs from Syria, Iraq, Yemen to seek refuge in countries around the world. In 2021 alone, the official EU site reported the entry of 2.3 million immigrants into the European Union. That's more people than the entire population of Gaza in one year. Yet anyone who dares mention voluntary immigration for Gaza people is automatically silenced and vilified. Why? If you really care for the people of Gaza, listen to what they want, not what you think is right for them. We are at a pivotal moment in history, providing us an opportunity to address a centuries-old deadly conflict. Certain countries in Africa and South America have shown interest in welcoming Gaza refugees, offering them a new opportunity for a decent life. Refusing Gaza refugees this fundamental human right is both cruel and unjust and blocks any kind of positive solution in this region.